Uh, Chris back with another top-down review and today we are going to be talking about Ready Player One. So Ready Player One is the Steven Spielberg adapted movie of the book by Ernest Cline entitled Ready Player One. Follows this kid named Wade Watts who ends up uh, adventuring in this uh, virtual reality type uh, gaming network called the Oasis which virtually everyone basically plays and in his adventures he basically gathers this uh, group that he familiarizes himself with which includes I think his name is D and um, the two samurai dudes and eventually Artemis who's this other high-ranking really intelligent character within the world yeah who's a girl but um basically the whole point of this movie is that this guy who created this system called the oasis basically hid these three keys in the virtual game world and when you unlock all three of these keys you basically get this trillion dollar fortune as well as basically access to running the whole game network and so everyone is basically trying to find this thing so one thing off the bat that I have to give this movie credit for is the freaking references that this movie gives out. A lot of references. And I have to say, even if you don't play video games, and even if you are not a super movie fan, I doubt there is not one reference in here that you can't just pull out at one point or another. I mean, it is amazing how many references are in this movie. I mean, I believe Spielberg said that this is his third hardest movie to make I believe and I can definitely see why just getting the rights to some of this stuff and putting them in the movie must have been just like hell to do but at the same time it must have been fun at the same time just to put out there but yeah I mean the references are like all out there and they're recent and they're today and then there's lots of 80s pop culture in there as well as like other stuff scattered from video games and movies and stuff like that especially with Alan Silvestri doing the the music or whatever Basically, um, there's this one scene I really love where um, the main character, Wade Watts, he gets a cube called the Zemeckis Cube, and he throws it, and basically time goes back uh, 10 seconds and everything. And I love it because the Back to the Future theme is, like, sprinkled throughout the movie, and, you know, it's amazing, you know, him doing the music and for that movie, and him also doing the music for this movie is... so. Uh, amazing and I loved it and I will that um the characters were great um I loved Artemis I loved the villain that Ben Mendels uh, Ben Mendelsohn played um Noah Nolan N Nolan C I forget his last name it's Nolan something but played um he did great um Ty Sheridan who played uh, Wade Watts and um Percival did great I mean Artemis did great um Mark Rylance just plays this really eccentric, like, anti-social video game dude. So, um, I don't know, he plays it very well, considering how he's played other people. It, it was an interesting role to see him in, so I just, I, I was fascinated by how he played it off. Um, Simon Pegg is also in this movie for some reason. He's not really in it a lot. I thought he was going to have a bigger role in it, but in the few scenes that he was in, he was all right, but, I mean... It could have really been anyone. It didn't have to be Simon Pegg at all. Not to say that Simon Pegg is a bad actor, but, I mean, it could have really been anyone, considering the few amount of scenes he was in. Um, if I really had only one gripe about the movie, it was just, um, they have, like, a group. Um, Wade Watts has, like, his friend that's in the video game, and then he meets Artemis, and it's, like, the three of them. And then there's, like, two other players who are, like, vaguely mentioned at one point throughout the story, and after that, it's like they kind of join in their like little crusade. And after that, it's just like, okay, where did you guys come from? Who are you? And why did we not find out more about you? It's like they're offhandedly mentioned one other time in the movie. And if you do not pay attention during that one time, then you miss it. And then they just show up at one point and then just join them. And just like, okay, well, I guess you guys are a part of this now too. But other than that, I mean, the character development for the other three characters was great. The story was great. The pop culture was great. I mean, I was jamming. I was enjoying every moment of the movie. And I would definitely recommend anyone that's a huge gamer in general to go and see this movie. If you haven't already, which I'm assuming you have, obviously. But... 
Yeah, I mean, I I enjoyed this movie a lot more than I expected it to. I mean, I knew I was going to have a good time. I just didn't expect to have that that great of a time at the movie. Um, but I will definitely be uh, buying this movie on Blu-ray, Steelbook, when it comes out. For sure, no question. Um, but let me know what you guys thought about Ready Player One. Um, as far as upcoming reviews are concerned, I will be seeing Rampage next week so expect a review on that um obviously um walking dead wraps with its penultimate episode not this week but next week so i will be doing two reviews for that and obviously i cannot forget about avengers infinity war the hype for that movie is so real so cannot wait to review that um on the Thursday when I'm going to see it. It will be a late review because I'm seeing the movie late at night, so it probably will drop like uh, maybe close to maybe really early in the morning, Friday, if not um, maybe later in the day. We'll see, but it will probably be early. That's um, later. I mean, that that's for sure. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about Ready Player One. Let me know your favorite reference throughout Ready Player One. And I will see you guys in my next review. Adios.